Kelly Ayant voted against the background check legislation in the Senate. Uh, she's been paying the price for it ever since. Her numbers are down 15 points now in New Hampshire. And in fact, uh, she is now trailing a theoretical Democratic can uh, candidate against her. Now, of course, her election is in 2016, so it's still a long time away. But when they put in the Democratic governor's name, she's all of a sudden losing. Now, she had won by 23 points just a couple of years ago. So this is a sea change in her polls, and it's not going well for her. Now, Erica Lafferty uh, is one of the family members of the victims of Sandy Hook. Her mom was the principal there and she was killed. She decided to go and challenge Kelly Ayat at a town hall meeting and what happened next was really interesting. You had mentioned that day the burden on um, owners of gun stores that the expanded background checks would cause. Um, I'm just wondering why the burden of my mother being gunned down in the hall of her elementary school isn't as important as that. Why is that not something that can be supported? Well, that's a devastating question. Asking her, like you say, you care about the gun store owners. How about my mom who was shot? How about all those kids who were shot? But that's a lower concern for you? Now, at the beginning of this town hall, Kelly Ayotte had the nerve to say, quote, where we are right now, my focus has been wanting to improve our current background check system. Well, you got a funny way of showing that. And then she had gone on to talk about mental health, which doesn't really have much to do with that topic. So now confronted by an actual family member of a victim, is she going to change her tune or is she going to robotically repeat the same Republican talking point? Let's find out. Um, certainly, let me just say that um, I, I'm obviously so sorry, and as everyone here, no matter what our views are, uh, for what you have been through. My view on the bill that I did not support and why I supported uh, the, the bipartisan bill that I did support was that I felt the enhanced improvements to our background check system. And as you and I both know, the issue wasn't a background check system issue in Sandy Hook. Um, it, mental health, I hope, is the one thing that we can agree on going forward and getting done because that seems to be an overriding issue in all of this. But I understand and I respect that you have a different viewpoint. Bought and paid for by the NRA. The NRA is the one saying don't do anything about guns. If you're going to do anything at all, uh, it's so the crazy people, mental health, mental health. Look away, look away from guns. So confronted by horrible poll numbers, by great disapproval in our home state. In fact, let me give you those numbers. 88% uh, of the people of New Hampshire were uh, strongly favored the background check proposal, only and six percent somewhat favored it. Only five percent opposed the proposal. She's with the five percent and still says, nope, 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 not the guns, not the guns. It's mental health. Look away. And in fact, among gun owners in New Hampshire, 83 percent of gun owners favored the universal background check. Why? Let's at least make sure that we're checking to see if someone is a criminal, someone is crazy, someone is a terrorist and shouldn't have a gun. It's the reason we have overwhelming numbers on it is because it's so damn reasonable. But of course the NRA works for gun manufacturers, they want everybody to have guns, including by the way crazy people, criminals, bad guys, so the bad guys have to have a gun and so are the good guys according to their own logic. So Ayat is not bending at all on this, oh I'm so sorry that you, your family members got killed but I'm going to continue to ignore that issue. So Erica Lafferty says she's going to ignore her. She walks out after that answer. You know, I, I took a lot of heat, uh, I will say, from even members of uh, my own party that didn't like the fact that I voted to actually go to debate on this issue. Um, because I, I do, we can have strong disagreements, but ultimately everything should always be debated and discussed. Did you understand what she said there at the end before Erica walked out? That she's the victim. She said, oh man, oh, I, was I not merciful? I allowed this to be debated by not filibustering in the beginning. I only filibustered at the end to kill the bill. Since I didn't filibuster in the beginning, I took some heat from some people in my own party before I filibustered the bill to kill it. 
Am I not merciful? Oh, you're walking out. Oh, well, hmm. S sorry, I didn't do anything for you. I actively killed the bill, and I won't do anything in the future. Gee, I wonder why you're offended by that. I can't quite figure it out.